Oh, God. See? This is why we don't do chores, Amanda. So that's what my dad said happened. And now I don't know what to do. Do I break up with her? Or do I hold it against her and use it as an excuse for every bad thing I do for the rest of my life? You came to the right place. As popular girls, we're experts in cheating and getting cheated on. And this is really bad. I mean, you didn't just get cheated on. You got cheated on before tomorrow's field trip to Sacramento. It's a six-hour bus ride to the city equivalent of a six-hour bus ride. You know what that means. <gasps> oh, no. Bus gossip. Rumors expand to fill the boredom, destroying innocent reputations just for fun. Mary Louise had to get an emotional support dog just because kids said she put her mouth on the water fountain. And it wasn't even her. It was me. Okay, but won't everyone just be focused on the fact G Gigi's dad has my dad under house arrest in connection to the murders? Only if we fight about it. And as always, my dad promised me a new phone if I swallowed my questions about his work. So I'm good if you are. I am, but how do I keep people from seeing things aren't normal between Daphne and me and spreading mean rumors? Maybe we just need to talk it out. Womano a womano. Talk it out? This isn't Camp David, Velma. And it's not just your reputation on the line. If Daphne doesn't pay, she'll cheat on you again. I know I would. So the plan is, you become the best girlfriend ever. Like, take her podcast recommendations level girlfriend. But also, keep her at a distance to make her want you like crazy. Then when you have her in the palm of your hand, you confront her about cheating in the middle of the state capitol building rotunda. The only thing people will gossip about after that is where we should hold Daphne's social funeral. So the only way to keep from being destroyed socially by rumors is to destroy Daphne first? Exactly. You're like so good at being popular. <sighs> Okay, if that's how it has to be.